we are. My bag of tricks. Now, Greta, there comes a time for every young married girl to learn the facts of life. Oh, Mama, no. No, no Greta. I don't want you to hear this sort of thing from those smug little newlyweds in the tea room at your work. <laughs> the complete kit. <laughs> Mum, it's full of Myers dockets. <laughs> yes, dear. Now you feel free to borrow one any time you like. Well, oh, getting that over is certainly a relief off my load. <laughs> Any questions? Um, yes, Mum. Uh, why are you showing me a bag full of Myers dockets? Oh, great. You haven't heard a word I've implied. <laughs> you see my dress? See it? I keep looking for the pot of gold at the end of it. <laughs> and it only costs $72. This, uh, this is the docket I showed your father when I bought it. $22.50. I <laughs> couldn't do anything like that. Yes, you could, dear. It's easy. Yeah. I remember a time before you were born, I bought an overcoat for £15.10. And I showed your father a ticket from a tuppenny weighing machine. <laughs> I told him I got the coat on special. He believed you bought a coat for tuppence? Yes, dear. Your father's good like that. <laughs> if you'd shown Bruno one of my dockets when you bought those shoes... Oh, no, Mum, I couldn't. We can't really afford the shoes. I'm taking them back. You coming with me? Yes, dear. But if you should ever borrow one of my dockets, remember... Keep your thumb over the date when you flash it. Bloody <laughs> Catholic mixed vandals! Oh. oh, hello, dear. How was your day? A bloody shambles, of course, like a mad woman's pearls coupon. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Ted! Your Kingswood's dropped off the aerial. <laughs> Kingswoods do not drop off aerials, Thelma. They are blown off with dynamite and plutonium. <laughs> oh. You still here? Yes, Dad. Gonna divorce the wog? No. <laughs> of course you are. As you well know, Thelma, this morning I had to park beside the playground of uh, St. Joseph's Institution for the Chronically Catholic. <laughs> I know, dear. Why didn't you say so? Anyway, I get off the train and start going through the standard Kingswood pre-ignition checklist. Oil, water, lights, mud flap length. Horn volume, nodding dog's head mobility, etc. and so forth. I flip on the radio and tickle me grandmother. What? Nothing. Look through the windscreen and there's the aerial. Gone. Just a huge hole in the mud guard. Oh, Ted, what did you do? Fainted. <laughs> I forgot the door was open and fell in the gutter. When I woke, there was this spotty little Damien in a St. Joseph's uniform grinning down at me. Bless him. Mm, I sprang to my feet and nearly broke my neck. Oh. He was standing on me tie. <laughs> the aerial in one hand uh, and a letter from a nun in the other. Here it is here. Dear driver. That'd be right. You don't drive it to Kingswood, you make love to it. <laughs> well, that's why nuns only drive to runs. <laughs> Dear driver, sorry about your aerial. Sister Bridget's been playing with the volleyball again. Oh, bless her heart. Shut up, woman. <laughs> if you'd care to call at the school office, I'd be only too pleased to arrange compensation. Yours sincerely, Sister Maria. Oh, Ted, isn't that just so nice? Did they pay you in cash or give you the value in indulgences? <laughs> I didn't wait to find out. I just got the Kingswood away from there as fast as his little steel cats would carry it, without spinning the wheels. Oh, and that couldn't have been easy, Ted. So help me, Thelma. If the Pope were here today, I'd take him down to that tyke school and rub his nose in it. <laughs> he's an old man. Mum? When are you getting the divorce? I want to ring the blokes and get them over from the RSL. Dad, we're not getting divorced. It was just a stupid little argument. Well, come on, dear. Are you ready? Well, where are you two off to in my darkest hour? We're just going to exchange Greta's shoes for a cheaper pair. It's late night shopping. But well, what about tea? Oh, it's all right, dear. We'll use Maya's cafeteria. Come on. Maya, <laughs> right, Mr. Thompson, Ted Bullpit. No, Bullpit. <laughs> yeah, everyone says that. No matter. 
You must remember me. You did some conveyancing when the little woman and me bought our house. Remember? What? 1954. <laughs> oh, well, no matter. Anyway, what I want you to do for me this time is sue the Pope. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Bloody solicitors, they're all the same. Ring them up at home and they're too drunk to hold the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> g'day. Don't g'day me, you twisted little immigrant. <laughs> My daughter jumped off the harbour bridge because you didn't like her shoe prices. She did not. She did. She sank a ferry. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry. Where is she, really? Mexico. <laughs> you heard. All right, what's she doing in Mexico? Crying, of course. And after that, she's going to get an instant Mexican divorce. They can dissolve marriages in a flash over there. They can't. They can. McDonald's run the divorce court. <laughs> you haven't got a decree absolute in 90 seconds, you get a free cheeseburger. Come on, I'm sorry about the shoes. It was just one of those stupid little blues on the spur of the moment. She can keep the shoes. I don't want to question what she buys. Now, where is she? I just want to give her the flowers and take her home. Bloody crawler. <laughs> You're a man, you'd strangle her. If I was a man, I'd strangle you. <laughs> Listen, Wog, watch it. You want to have a go, do you? Do you? Mm. <laughs> you want an instant replay of the time I caught Mussolini squatting behind a rock in the middle of the desert? <laughs> I planted his arms and legs and stuck him up his nose. <laughs> There's something terribly wrong with you, Mr. Bolton. No, no. Come on, come on. Your typical valiant driver, they're all cowards. They're not. They are. Show a valiant driver a white flag and he's anybody's. <laughs> I once knew a valiant driver he used to wander around all over the place, surrendering to his albinos. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, for me? How sweet of you, father-in-law, darling. <laughs> Bloody walk. <laughs>